Hello everyone, this is here Mel again. Uh, as I mentioned that um, on my pitch, my digital artifact, that I'm gonna do uh, Homo Deers and Sapien, but I decided not to do that. There's so much technical, technical words in it, scientific words that I can't even explain to you. Um, and then I'm like, I don't know if people will understand the book so much or no. So, but, and then I decided to do another book, which is um, This Fitted Word, A Short History of Humanity by David Christiana. So this writer is actually an Aussie working in Macquarie University. So he did a really, really brief history of uh, what has actually happened. Um, but I feel like people, if it's, if you don't really know a lot of history, and you should know a brief like what is actually ha what, ha what actually happened, then like you have a basic structure on your mind that like okay, then I know, you know, like why that how we build in this way so I have actually divided my presentation in three parts so one is the uh, hunter getters and uh, second um, secondly it's the uh, agriculture age and the third one is industrial age so um, obviously book start with the big bang we all know the big bangs and then so People say that the birth of lives came where Homo deer starts. Okay, I got that. So now that we have actually become human, so the hunter gatherers that we start to collect and hunt for the food resource, source, the, the, for the first time that we climb to the top of the food source so we have skill improved but at that moment our life is really short our maximum life was like 35 and then we but we live in a really um a lecturely life and then less stressful than now obviously um so that's what i'm just saying that, that we climb to the top for the food chain um it is so crazy for so we know like as a human being that we know how to hunt, we know how to use fire and then this is how we all started. So 10,000 BC, that's where it ends. So then our um, agriculture age starts to come in. So as we know that then city, states, country comes in and then also that improved industries and commercial will come in which is like big big factories that people start know what is fabrics and people start making clothes and all these and then people start trade in the market and there's in the market there will be competitions and then there will be intensive economic growth in it for sure but people don't realize it at that time that's totally okay and then everything has become together as um, a group and then people finally start to live to uh, even though um, in the hunter gallery time we live together but now like we are actually like in a city that's like we live in this city in city a and city b so that that's that's what is it and then um basically that people has been improving the way that how they live as well um, great improvement so and then we moved to up to 200 years ago then the industrial age came in so fab um, actually people have factory to make fabric and then um, the mining business has come in as well uh, energy support which is light has coming in people don't use candle anymore and the industrial process spreads globally so just everywhere have light everywhere has energy um, and then we found petrol that time as well and then obviously i have to tell you that there's advantage and disadvantage in industrial age the advantage is that obviously as what i mentioned in the agriculture age as well economic growth crazily crazily biological development as well so that means that doctor has been improved we have a lot of medicines and we found out what is antibiotics that's one of the example and then political comes in but at the same time that the gap between rich and poor has come in richer becomes richer poor and becomes poor even right now we are 
in this technology age now that it's so crazy that we see people are living in Beverly Hills and then there's people also live in Bankstown. Um, so um, then environment has been destroyed for sure for sure um, China's air pollution huge problem um, there is noise pollution in India a lot of things like that um, people really can't live peacefully um, so out of all this this is a really brief history that you will sort of know that what is actually happening also that I will upload these diagrams down below and then you can download as a PDF documents that you can show it to everyone uh, and then I want to show a quote with you here as well um, hang on. Let me just find so in human history there's world as a universe that now that we really need a history to help us to know that a definition of the history um, we also need a background to support that um, we are the central of the universe thank you so much for listening and then i hope that you understand this whole, whole uh, short history of humanity remember it's a short history of humanity but not anything else thank you so much and appreciate it that you if you love the video